constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. At a time when we are at the peak of our debt, when you realize that taxing the public directly and indirectly won't solve the debt issue, you still want to tax them even for the transactions in banks. So if the bank has to pay it and they cannot get it from the public, how can they earn an income? This is how you began the nation building tax. You start small as always. As for the vision of this budget, despite it being the inaugural budget of the minister, it is detrimental. You all think that you have not destroyed this economy but has uplifted it. That is why the whole country had to wait for an oil tanker to come by. You should be ashamed as a government. You have also imposed another tax for sugar. The reason you gave was because sugar leads to diabetes. Look at the recent study by the University of Colombo. 49% of the public drink moonshine. Out of the people who use liquor, 84% use arak. But in developed countries, over 84% drinks beer and only a very small amount drinks hard liquor. So as a country, we should decide are we to follow countries like Saudi Arabia, where they ban liquor and people who take them will lose their hands or limbs. If not, I don't see a problem with someone wanting to drink a small beer. Actually, drinking a beer is much better than drinking a sugary drink. Minister, they do use sugar for beer. Check and see, a liquor company uses over 300 sacks of sugar. So what are you trying to tell the public? It's okay to drink beer which has sugar, but we will tax sugary drinks because it causes illness. We understand as to what you're saying. Let the public decide on that. You cannot have a blue-green budget with a bunch of thieves. So do you think that the same people who caused the bond scam loves this economy? In the quest towards an enterprise in Sri Lanka, in the end, will be an enterprise in Sri Lanka Private Limited. We object to this budget.